I'm sure the majority of us will agree that over the last few decades taxation has skyrocketed, and now with continual growing governmental fees, is adding insult to injury. Some of these fees make sense to me like registering a business or paying to renew a driver's license, but most are gouging. Us extracting more money from the average person's pockets. There is a distinct difference between taxes and fees, but all goes into the government coffers anyways so really, what is the distinction? A governmental fee is a specific service, we pay with a set price, and our tax is dollars, the government can spend more or less as they please. My dispute has to do with the fact our taxes should be enough to run the company, and my feeling is the government is making on a profit on those fees, if... The idea of them is to supplement the shore coming in the budget. There should be no profit margin attached. How much does it actually cost the government in labor and paper to print the report? My son obtained his full license. The insurance wanted proof, so we went to government office. The deed literally took the government worker two minutes to print it out for a 0.00 fee, and our time wasn't considered waiting 30 minutes. I also think we are getting fleeced with many other fees like hospital parking, which should be part of our Medicare service, prepaid eco fees on electronics, and I could continue with more. Maybe if our governments stop mismanaging our tax dollars, giving them away to third world countries when we need it, spending millions on drone planes, engaging in wars we have no business being part of paying government employees so much more than in the private sector, perhaps then we might have a chance at starting to balancing our national budget better. Then just maybe we would not need to fork out as many fees to compensate their shortcomings. How about creating jobs, reducing the unemployment so more people could contribute more in taxes? It's also time the government lets go of not allowing the private sector from owning casinos, independent liquor stores, and reduce the taxation on cigarettes, so we don't need to spend even more on law enforcement black market task forces. Just consider of all the millions or billions of dollars our governments bring in. There is payroll taxes, personal taxes, excise taxes, corporate taxes, sales taxes, casino revenues, gas taxes, property taxes, school taxes, postal office, and very high taxation on booze and cigarettes. These are definitely not all of them. I am not an economist, but have no idea how so much money can come in like this. The government can't balance our country's budgets, even after double-dipping charging us these ridiculous fees, which I believe should be part of what we pay in taxes. I think it is time for the government to be more mindful of our tax dollars, because squeezing Canadians for fees is not helping the economy and will probably in the near future make things worse. Can't take blood from a stone, and that is exactly from my perspective what government try to do charging working class Canadians fees.